What's up, Ramblers? Okay, so I'm in the middle of studying for an exam, so I'm just gonna do this in one take, I think. Uh, if I could have a conversation with any one person, uh, I definitely think it would be King Henry VIII, because I have a lot of things that I would like to ask that man. First of all, you know, why it was so important to him that not only he have a son, but also that he have a son by a wife that he liked. Like, those seem to be two mutually exclusive things in his little faded universe because either he was going to have a wife he liked or he was going to have a son and pretty much the universe did not want him to have both so the fact that he relentlessly pursued both for his entire life is a little bit ridiculous and I you know I commend him for his never giving up attitude and stuff like that but seriously when the universe has you divorce behead or widow you know six wives that's quite a thing to have happen so it's you know time to give up eventually. Also, the whole Anglicanism thing and starting a new church because the church would not, the Catholic Church at the time and, you know, the beginnings of the other Protestant churches at the time would not grant him a divorce. So he started an entirely new church with a new mandate for a whole bunch of things besides divorce and the, the, the balls that it took to do that were incredible. I mean, here's a king that gave birth to the greatest line of royals, arguably, that England has ever had in Mary, Queen of Scots, and Elizabeth, and then later their cousins, James I and James II, and then later the Charleses that led to the English Civil War, which, if you've watched this channel, you know that I love the English Civil War. But before all of that excellent monarchism and all of that excellent royalty and then that excellent patriotism and nationalism and anti-monarchy that happened after that reign, there was this guy who just could not get anything right. Like, he, he made some good decisions as a monarch, I suppose, and he was the strongest of the Henrys by far, as far as rulership goes, but, you know, the Tudors were not that strong a house before Henry VIII, so it's not really saying much. And just to speak to a man who managed to rule England through six wives, and all this tumult of, you know, starting a new religion, and all these things, and, you know, just persevere through messing up all the time. I would just want to want to sit him down and, and, and ask if he had really, really, really thought everything through. Also, as terrifying as it is to, you know, think about talking to a man who had the guts to kill two of his wives, I just think he'd be a fascinating kind of guy. Is that really super morbid of me? Also, is it bad that I didn't pick somebody like really positive, like Jesus or Gandhi or something? I don't know. I don't know what that reflects on my personality, but who knows? Anyways, I love history, and that's definitely who I would choose. Uh, if you're keeping track, the next video coming from me will come from Orlando, Florida with Ruth. So, cannot wait to see you, Ruth. It's going to be amazing to finally meet you in person, and I can't even tell you how excited I am for Playlist Live. Alex, I can't wait to see you tomorrow, and I really wish that you and James were coming with us because it would be amazing to have us all in the same place at the same time. But one day, it would definitely happen. Anyways, until then, DFTBA, guys.